Hey guys! It's Crystal. And Chris, welcome back to Universal Yay! Studios Hollywood. Welcome back, you guys. We have such exciting news, you guys, and huge updates to go over. Yeah, there's a lot going on. We have some inside news that we want to share with you. So if you guys are ready, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Let's go have some fun. Yes, let's go. So the peak season is over here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Low crowds during the week. Yeah, we can definitely tell. The wait times right now are actually super, super low. Between yeah. 5 to 15 minutes for everything. Great time to visit during the week. Sunday evenings as well. We were here on Sunday and it was yeah. cold, but everything was a walk on. We had a great time. Now we all know how much Crystal loves roller coasters. What? Right? No. <laughs> she loves them so much, she doesn't even get on them. <laughs> exactly. But let's check out the Fast and Furious coaster construction because they are moving so literally fast Super and furious. Quick. So they already have one wall, the first layer going down, the bottom layer. Over the past week, they went vertical with that building over there. That is going to be the show building slash uh, bay loading area. It's really fun and exciting to see them transform this entire area right before our, our eyes. So they are digging some sort of trench out here. We're assuming it's going to be for maybe electrical, gas, uh, elect all, you know, all that fun stuff that comes with building a coaster. They do have another well over there, another opening. We have heard rumors that there are actually some track pieces on site. Not sure how true that is, but if it is true, that's very exciting because It'll all come to life once we actually start seeing them lay out the track pieces, right? Exactly, babe. Can you believe that not so long ago that used to be animal actors? And special effects. I miss those oh shows. Oh my god, that is I crazy. Miss them. I hope all the animal actors are doing just fine here I in know, Hollywood. I know, I know. When it comes to permits that are being filed, obviously those are a little bit more believable, but we have heard some people say that they actually have, that they actually have taken a look at uh, blueprints, layouts, especially with how the inside of the show building is going to look and operate. As long as we get an awesome thrill coaster because that's what's really needed here at the park i wouldn't be surprised if maybe in the future they actually close off this overlook maybe they don't want us to see what you know how it's going to go down you think so i don't know and you know what we've also mentioned that when we come down the stairs like that all of that is going to change yeah. we're going to hear all the screams like it's definitely going to bring a lot to the park over here on new york street it is lively right now but i'm sure most of you have heard the power up cafe the rumored power up cafe which will be coming to this corner. So the cafe will be right there in the corner, the cafe entrance, and the scaffolding is actually down. They gave this uh, building a fresh paint job. It looks the same to us, maybe some small notable differences, but not really. We have heard that team members have been previewing the food in the past few weeks, and this week they're gonna be previewing other foods as well. Actually, yeah, you can see the queue right there. So they might actually have already been lining up team members to go in there and preview foods. But babe, how do you feel about a new Power Up Cafe or Mario inspired cafe coming to uh, Universal Studios Hollywood? It's definitely much needed. I feel like we're long overdue for new food items and I can already see the crowds building up. I totally agree. And if you guys did not know, over in Japan, they actually have some really fun food items like a Princess Peach Cake. They actually have a Yoshi Lassie, which is like a yogurt uh, inspired smoothie. They also have pancake sandwiches, hot parfait drinks. So what we've heard is that we will be getting some sort of calzones here. Maybe a Mario Luigi inspired calzone. Uh, something like a fire flower pretzel. What do you guys think? Again, nothing is confirmed until we see it with our eyes I and know. taste it, right? Yeah, we definitely need to get ready for those Instagram worthy mm. pictures. Oh, yeah. Our friends are here. What do they think? Oh, oh. <laughs> Claws. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, you said. Well said. <laughs> are you guys having a great day today? <laughs> Good. Good. Fun. Fun. Yeah. We're having fun. Lots of fun. Oh, he <laughs> took my hat. Yes. Yes. That's you. That's it. There you go. We're friends. Where are you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, someone's in trouble. I'm sorry. Next time. Good. Look good. Good. Thank you. Next time. Bye, Bye friends. Friend. Uh, <laughs> Happy Halloween. Bye. <laughs> he wants to kill me. <laughs> Safe to say that oh all... Yo, Universal has the best meet and greets. I love it. Of their characters. They're just so amazing. Yeah, I felt bad because the bride was like, where am I? And you know what? We're usually wearing the bride and monster We're merch. We're usually matching. Babe, you didn't let me know. Wow. Sorry, I, I apologize. Sorry, bride. Next time. 
Good to see you, Doc. How are you? Too excellent. Excellent. <laughs> but yes, very exciting. Uh, how do you feel about a Super Nintendo World themed cafe coming to the upper lot? Let us know. Also, let us know what kind of treats and food options are you looking forward to? <laughs> Guess who's also turning one year old this year? Ah! This February, Super Nintendo World. Yes. One year on February 17th. I can't believe it's already been a whole year. You know what, around this time last year, they were doing soft openings and previews, which we did attend a few times. Yeah. Believe it or not, you guys, Super Nintendo World is still the talk oh, of the park. It is yeah. popular. <laughs> it's yeah. Everyone, everyone loves Super yeah. Nintendo World, us included. The ride is like always two to three hours long. So get here early or stay till closing, like today. I think Bowser's Challenge is on like a 15 minute wait right now. I know, believe it or not. So happy almost one year to Super Nintendo World. And uh, like for me, honestly, this is a dream and uh, it's a fever dream. I don't want to wake up. I love it in here every single time. I agree, you get the sounds, you get the ambiance. It's, it's literally like you're in Super Nintendo World. It's like you're in the universe. Yes. So for the one year celebration, we are expecting a few things. Obviously the Power Up Cafe is supposed to open up around the, the one year anniversary. Also, the gold power band, you guys, is coming. Side note, they are actually now $42, not $40. We have been to Tosu Cafe a few times. We do have a few favorites, right? Yeah, for me, it's actually the spaghetti. I actually want to come back and have it really, really soon. The collectible pins are back. The Super Nintendo, well, look at these, nine pins for $45. And the one in the middle is the exclusive Universal Studios Golden Cup pin. Uh, these are debuted a few months ago, but we hadn't seen them. They're back in stock. We already grabbed ours on Sunday when we were here. Friendly reminder, we do go live every single week from the theme parks. Make sure you follow along, subscribe with all your notifications. I love these. I love this pin set, babe. We also noticed a few weeks ago that they actually had Bowser merch that was brand new, but they have taken it off the shelves. We are expecting them to bring it back in stock or at least on the shelves. They do have it back here somewhere. And who knows what other merch we're actually going to get for the one year anniversary. Guess who's celebrating their birthday? The studio tour is celebrating 60 years on July 15th. Yes, our favorite attraction is going through a lot of refurb right now in certain areas. A lot of facades have been getting a lot of much needed love. Earthquake has been closed for a few months, but according to an email that we received, it should be coming back with brand new elements. Definitely can't wait to see what they do for the 60th anniversary for the spring and summer. The Lunar New Year is fast approaching, but there is no visible changes going on here at Hollywood and Dine. In the past, they usually have some sort of food options and treats that you can get here, right? Over the past few years? Yeah, we're definitely sad about that. Um, and actually, we've noticed that they have not even uh, updated their menu. So that leaves us wondering, are we going to get anything Lunar New Year this year? In the past, over at the plaza, they have had a meet and greet with Poe, Kung Fu Panda, Mr. Ping, Mr. Ping's noodles, yes. and live entertainment. We'll keep it close side to see if there are going to be any changes coming to Hollywood and Dine. But for now, we just have the Minions Lunar New Year merch. And we'll see if the characters also dress up for Lunar New Year. And yes, you guys, Waterworld is still closed for refurbishment. But it does make sense, though, because last season we did have a busy one. So it does make sense that it's due for a refurbishment. We're not sure when it's going to reopen, but hopefully before the spring break crowds arrive. But yes, yeah, so we do have the Minions merch 2024 Year of the Dragon. And look at this minion wearing a dragon head. He's so cute! This one is priced at $22. $22. And then we also have this shirt and this pretty cool tote bag. It is a little furry, this little design here. Got this baseball tee as well. And of course, they always drop keychains, magnets, and pins. We do want to get this pin. We like the pin, right? Yes. For this year. He's riding the dragon. It's pretty cool. This one is priced at $11. $11. Looks like we do have some new Harry Potter merch. Platform 9 and 3 quarters. There is a new sweater. It is $70. Hogwarts Railway on the back. And then the front. Yep, Platform 9 and 3 quarters. We were like, you know what? We've seen the obviously the 9 and 3 quarters design before, but I think it was on a mug. Yeah, I agree. And also, um, it does have the 9 and 3 quarters on the sleeve here, which is a good add-on. There's also a tumbler and a mug. It says Hogwarts Railway on it. New shirts that say Wizarding Dad and Wizarding Mom. I like these. These are cool. 
We need some shirts to say muggles for all those that don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I agree. And there's also this other sweater, Hogwarts Railway. I think it's, I think it's the same on the back, right? It's the same logo as the other one? Yes. Guess what? Here at the Hello Kitty store, the Hello Kitty Chucky merch is back in stock. The spirit jersey, $80. The bucket hat, which is actually reversible. And we do have the plushie, Hello Kitty Chucky plushie, and the pillow. They're actually both $25. Which one would you choose? I think, Crystal, you'd probably choose this one. I think I'll take the bigger one, yes. There you go. <laughs> Sleep with it. And that means the mug is also back and fully in stock, $25. This is the one thing we got for HHM. And we never saw it return, but it's here now. So you can come get it inside the studio store. And it's also available at CityWalk, too. Yeah, it's so cute. It's priced at $25. The Hello Kitty Chucky pin for $18 and the wallet for $35. Another major update here at Hogsmeade. Honey Dukes is still open, but the other half, Zonko's, it's all one big store. But guess what? This half of the store is closed. We did notice it's been closed for two weeks already. So one visible difference is that the pastries are gone, baby. They're the gone, pastries. no! We actually had just tried the pumpkin pastry. It was delicious. I hope they bring it back. But the rumor is that the other half of the store will be transformed into an ice cream parlor. If you guys do remember, they used to sell, they do sell ice cream here at Hogsmeade in like little tubs, right? Yeah, they did. And the flavors that they had were strawberry, I think it was vanilla and butterbeer. We never got to try them. I feel like some, most of the times they were kind of sold out. Definitely. The walls are also still up here for the Forbidden Journey extended queue. We only see them use this queue during the summertime usually, right? Yeah, it's actually very rare when they use it. Yeah, I agree. So they're supposed to be building like lockers or something. If, if you know, you're not supposed to ride with bags on this ride. So they actually have lockers inside. But we hear that they're supposed to be taking them out, putting them out here to kind of free up some space in there. It definitely tends to get really crowded in there, so I think it's amazing that now they're going to bring them outside. Yeah, this is a really popular ride, and the line can get pretty crazy just to put your bags away. We also have to mention, if you are an annual pass member of any kind, starting February 1st, we are getting another free magnet, a Jaws magnet. Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> One for our collection. That one looks great, too. I know. And we also, they are going to have a scavenger hunt, and at the end of the hunt, you do get a free collectible button, which also looks amazing. They will be offering a special strawberry spiral croissant and a cotton candy sparkling lemonade. That is what I'm excited <laughs> for. I love anything strawberry. Yeah, I know you'll like that. Yeah. Uh, you can find it over at Mel's Diner and at Jurassic Cafe. Uh, there are also going to be other perks. Uh, the buy one get one free carnival games is back, which take advantage you guys. They have some cool prizes. Babe, are you ready to go down? <sighs> if you guys don't know, we love playing those carnival games. And during this time, we usually always take advantage of yeah, so, Have true. you been practicing? I did so fine. I did fine the other night. <laughs> Basketball is my one weakness, so we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> and take advantage of the annual pass member photo package because you are getting 25% off and you get all the photos uh, for free throughout the entire year for one whole year. We have it every single year. We always renew it. Every single yeah. year. I'm a big picture person just mm -hmm. for the memories. So definitely if you want that, take advantage of that as well. Because you do get free digital downloads and you can always just buy your print for five to ten dollars plus a frame for an additional cost here keep those memories when you get on forbidden journey when you get on jurassic uh, world when you get on the mummy if you see a photographer in the front take advantage if you get the pass like it's going to be yours for, for it's for memories you're gonna you'll have it my least favorite ones are always the jurassic world ones ah! i'm always like looking all crazy <laughs> but like i said there's more perks just click on the universal studios website click on past members at the top uh and and see what else they're offering that's gonna do it for these updates. We hope you really enjoyed. These are some good updates, a lot of exciting news and speculation and things for us to look forward to. If you have the chance, make sure you come and visit Universal Studios Hollywood. Always such a fun time. Oh yeah, and don't worry, for all my Halloween Horror Nights fans, Ooh. we'll be talking Halloween Horror Nights in February. We're already starting the Halloween talk. I already know what's on our list, on our wish list. Uh, are we getting the Metro sets Ooh. back, speculation, all that fun stuff. Don't worry, we'll yes. do that next month. You guys stay tuned for everything. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for more. We go live every single week, so we'll see you guys very soon. We'll see you guys next time. We love you guys. Bye, Bye. friends. <laughs>